Greetings and welcome back to Against the Storm. I'm Catherine of Sky and I really apologize for the cat cam in the last episode. I didn't notice on OBS that I had clicked on the wrong uh, wrong scene. That's what it's called. It's the wrong scene. And the cat cam was up and there was no cat to entertain you. So we really apologize for that. I was meaning to say at the very end of the episode, if you are interested in the, this game, you can get it on Epic. And if you use my creator code, it does help support me um, as well as game developers, obviously. But uh, it doesn't cost you anything extra. So I'd really appreciate it if you uh if you decided to do that but if not that's fine as well so anyway let's get back to our game and we are doing extraordinarily well we have a high resolve of 0.65 per minute that's massive uh the queen's impatience is at 0.2 per minute we have currently the hostility of the forest level is at level two now we do have other stuff coming up uh, the Rotting Woods is from Hostility 2, so that is in effect right now. Nausea Spores, um, that's from Hostility 4. Uh, it should be okay because I think we're going to get our services sorted out. We did, did we get the, oh, we have the brewery done. That's really good. Um, so that should give us, yeah, we have, wow, this is, yay, all the things are done. Hooray. Okay, do we have the other service? I don't think so. I think we haven't built it yet. We have, where is this tavern? I've completely lost the tavern. Let's find out. Where is it? Hello? Hello? Tavern. Tavern is here. There's nobody working there. So we need to have somebody working here for this to function. So let's get that going. Um, we can get Brotherhood for everybody, and that is free. Leisure requires ale. Now, we can't actually produce ale, but we need to have some pottery. So that is not something that we have right now. Uh, so we may need to, like, rejig and juggle some people around. Let's see. This one, that was uh, mush soup that they were making from berries and vegetables. So let's take people off of here. I don't think we actually need this. Let's see. What do these give extra of? Roots. Okay, we don't care about that at all. I'd rather us have this functioning to get us the ale. Let's just choose this and we'll have an ale limit of say third no not 30 it's 15 each time so 60 maybe uh, hello 60 no okay doesn't want it doesn't want to click help 60 okay uh all right so we're gonna do that let's have somebody here i guess a human oh they like working there that's good and then we need a place that makes pottery uh, let's look for a place. I have no idea. There are so many buildings and so many different things here. That it's like, huh, where do we get stuff from? Okay, so lizards are quite happy working in the smokehouse. No doubt because it's warm in there. And they're going to make pottery, I think. So we'll have them make like, I don't know, 20 or something pottery. Would love for them to make incense, but not until we get more herbs. I feel like we're kind of short of those. Yeah, we have 44 left, and I missed the trader again at the end of the last episode, so that wasn't good. But eventually, I would like them to make incense to work at the thing we just set up. Here's the library. Hooray. So, we can have incense to give us religion, or let's have luxury. Hooray. Let's take off education, because that's not going to be a thing. But we'll have our human here working there okay so what are we doing now we need to find extra employees because i want at least one builder so let's look at a building that has two stonecutters camp has two farm this woodcutters camp has two i think that's maybe where we get them one of two carpenter we could take people off the rain collector because we're not actually using that right now so we'll, we'll do that we'll take the beaver off there and if we can trade the beaver for somebody else, yeah, let's trade it for a human and beaver. There we go. So at least they're a little bit more efficient at their job. Oh, oh, look what we found. Poisonous mushroom or grass cap, gla grass, grass, glass. No, grass cap mushrooms. They give us no bonus, but they're just mushroom harvesting. Let me remove this. We don't need that anymore. What is this cash? Let's look need tools and we get 
plank yield. That is beautiful. Or we get these goods. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see how many of those hammers we have. Do we have any? We have quite a lot of spark dew. That's nice. Let's see. Hammers. I ain't seeing any hammers. So I think we might need to... Let's see. We have been working on the copper bars. But I don't know if we've actually had enough to make the tools yet. So hopefully we're going to get more of the copper. I think that's here. Should be showing up here. Anyway, we need these stone cutters to to, to uh, get the clay here. And it has a 40% chance of, of producing some copper. Okay. So, oh, we have a new building. Hooray. Oh my god, what did we get here? Oh, our lives are better. The herb garden is here. Holy fuzzy cats. Life is now better. I guarantee it. It's fan darn -tastic. It is amazingly good. So, so this is an emergency, I think. Oh, this has just been opened up as well. That's quite nice. So what we're going to do is, let's see, we can find out. Is there anything here? Just some broccoli. And we're good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we're going to move this over here. Because I want to delete some of the trees that are overcrowding the grass. I guess those there. This is actually the farmland, not just grass. And I also want to have this kind of road going beyond there and through this way. So we're going to delete these trees there. So we're going to move this closer, like right, maybe here. Oh, wait, we need to delete that road first. No. Yeah, all this stuff's got to be deleted because we need these, these farmlands back. Now, I do want to put in our farm here somewhere. And this farm has got to be on high, high, high uh, priority. We probably want to put it... Where do we want to put this thing? Here? Covers one tile there. I think that's good right there. So this is going to be on three priority four, whatever. We want to grow herbs. We don't care about roots. Roots are not important to us. We want herbs right now. Herbs, herbs, herbs. And then this can move to be like there. So we get all of those woody bits in the middle. And we... Wow, this is great. That doesn't often happen that you get both farm buildings, but this has been very lucky and very happy for us. Hooray. So this is good. I'm quite happy with this. Like the rain isn't bothering us today. It's fine. And look at all of our people. They're just like, hey, KOS is the best. And we probably are going to win right now because we can actually deliver all these things. Deliver, deliver, deliver. Did we win yet? Almost. What do we get? Lumber mill or a granary? We don't have the granary yet. So we can pick that. Not that we need it. Herb garden has no fields. Ah, yes, of course. That's important. We should probably get those going. It's so funny. Like, once we get to the thing, we're probably going to win imminently. But it's okay. We had fun. It's good. Good. Good thingy, thingy, thingy. Yay. Okay. So the builders can go ahead and build all that stuff. We have... Wow, we have many people. Where did all these people come from? We also need to build some more houses as well. Let's go here. Uh, not there. That's not actually a good spot. Yep, just build a few more houses. And this needs a human to run it. Ah, uh, luckily we have several humans, so that's good. That is really good. Okay, so there's our forager's camp. Here is our lumber camp. We need another glade opened up. Oh, we didn't move this one. Gosh. It ends up being kind of funny, like, how much stuff you actually get done. Let's see, what does this one have? We need broccoli for this one, and we don't have enough. And we could get half a point or a thing. But we won! Hooray! So, the village's position is secured. You can now choose to leave or continue to play on this map, but you won't earn any additional experience. So, 
We got stuff. We got 60 experience points. Plus we got swamp wheat farmer, no deaths, victory through resolve, and 14 food stockpiles. So we're going to go back to our world map. And then we have Beaverton. Hooray. So we can, let's go to the smoldering city. I don't think we can unlock anything, but we can look. Let's see. We can buy upgrades. Okay. We can't get anything because we don't have enough experience, but let's look at our deeds. Okay, so we got this one. Hooray. Okay, so here is, oh wow, three new upgrades available. Hooray. So that one's done. This one is done. All right, and then we have one more, which is no deaths. That is awesome. Hooray. Okay, so we earned a lot of extra experience just from those rewards. So now we can buy upgrades. What do we got? Uh, we have, let's see. So we don't have any of these blue things. Those are machinery, luxury items. Uh, rain punk technology ripped from the past. Repurposed with skill and labor can be used to buy upgrades. Okay, and this is uh, curiosities of varying nature. Fascinating, sinister, both and all between can be used for buying upgrades. Okay, we don't have any of those pieces right now. Uh, but, uh, oh, more blueprints and resources for your next run. Oh, that's nice. Let's see, Monastery of the Vigilant Flame, level one. Okay, we get Cornerstone plus two to herb production. Wow, gain additional herbs every yield. That's sharp sickles. That would really, really improve the herbing. Fungal guide. Ancient mushroom farming techniques are described. We get mushroom production is increased by plus one for every 50 times it's produced. That's interesting because you have to have a lot of mushroom gathering for that to work well. Then we have an herbalist camp building blueprint. Starting point for herbalist going out into the wild to gather herbs, berries, and mushrooms. Okay, so let's unlock this. And that's what we got. We have no more food. We have nothing left to buy anything else. Let's look at this. We have Zorg, the treater. He might have cooked and he might have cooked and raw food, pottery tools, as well as perks and blueprints tied to agriculture for sale. He's willing to buy packs of goods, raw food, building materials, and some crafting materials. And the rain mill. That's looking kind of cool too. Can produce flour, oil, and manuscripts. All right, so let's go ahead and maybe we'll go over here. Glades have an increased chance of including fertile soil. That sounds kind of good. So let's go ahead to, okay, the blight storm is coming. Settlements are abandoned and people are returning to the citadel. Uh, we've in, okay, we've unlocked content. We've unlocked things and stuff. These various symbols, okay. Next is the phase of the leech. We gained 364 experience the cycle. I guess we end the cycle because there's nothing else left to do here. Okay, so time to choose a new city area. I guess we are starting over. What is this? Ruined settlement. A once prosperous settlement ravaged by the blight storm. A lot of ruined buildings can be found nearby. Oh, that sounds actually really good. We liked those ruined buildings and they can be different than what we've had in the past. So I'm thinking we go for that. Okay, let's go here. Okay, so what do we have here? We have, um, all right, same length as the other one, Woodland Town, modifiers, magnitude mild, thingy stuffs. We'll find out about those in the future. And we are gonna take these bonuses. Now, do we have certain, oh, we have three points that we can take. So we take, we gotta take wood, I think, because we have to build stuff. We can have roots, eggs, and we can get three humans. Uh, oh, those count as two. So I kinda would prefer to have food. That would be nice. So let's embark on this and say, we're gonna call it uh, Netherton. Since we feel like we live in the nethers. Okay, let's embark. Okay. Forest mystery. So we do actually have some colonists. We have nine of each. So we didn't, those weren't like, those were extra colonists that we could take. Uh, they weren't going to limit us. So here are our mysteries. 
Clearings buzz with cricket sounds gain 30 insects for each discovered glade. That's actually really nice for the jerky. We have an Aurora. Um, fulfill services and they get to be motivated. Swarms. Uh, complex food they get also motivated. What is this? Uh, all right, so hostility of looming darkness, creeping shadows, discovering a glade during a storm will decrease the global resolve by minus five for three minutes. Yowza. Oi. Okay, so we have to watch that. But that's after hostility one. Okay. So we start at zero, by the way. Downpour. Also active from hostility one. Unless they have clothing, they move 40% slower. Uh... <laughs> and I think that's only during the storm. I'm not sure, but I think it's only during the storm. Okay, we're back. We are doing stuff. Let's see what we got. So the first thing we have here are uh, grass cap mushrooms. And we also have a little bit of clay in our starting area. That's really nice. So I like to start off with, of course, we start off with our woodcutters camps. Um, actually, they don't cost any wood. Maybe I shouldn't have taken any wood because they only cost bolts. These cost wood, though. So let's start off with our first one over... Hmm. This would be a nice building area. Also, this is a nice building area. I think I'll go down here. And I just want to open one at a time. Try to be efficient about that. So we'll get these two with that one woodcutter camp. And then maybe go to these two because we get insects with every opening of these things so that's really nice and let's just go ahead and put that one down here okay and we'll make those first all right let's go builders proceed build the things all right and there we go all right, so we're gonna put in our beavers here. I guess I could build the other stuff as well uh, quickly because they only require the bolts, so it's not really necessary to worry about other stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and chop, just barely, barely chop a path here. Mm -hmm. I think that's okay. That's like too wide going into there. Let's go here. And we'll go also maybe there, maybe there. Okay, let's try to delete these by, it's very sneaky because it's a round thingy instead of being a uh, a not round thingy, uh, like a single tile pathway. There we go, that's the way. Hold click and then move the mouse. I think that's the best way to get to there. Let's do here as well. We just want to really focus on opening and not on other stuff. Okay, let's pause for now. I want to... What do we need here? We need a uh, herbalists. Do we have anything like that? We have scavengers. Plant fiber, reeds, and eggs. We do have the stone cutters camp. I'll go ahead and put this one down because I think that would, would be good to have. We'll take this one this way. Can we? One, two, and... Oh, that's perfect with the roads. Okay. Life is okay. One, two. Kind of like to have this border. One, two. Just to have our houses around. It's kind of a nice thing. And that's one thing I definitely want to make absolutely pronto. We need to make three houses. ASAP even faster than the stonecutter's hut. I'll just put those on fast. They only need five logs each. So with our woodcutters just chopping stuff down, we should get that very quickly. Let's see, what do we get here? Wow, farm or herb garden? That is going to be a tough question. Right now we have no farming land, so it doesn't matter. But we can see what we're going to get here. Okay, so we have fungal guide. We have... Let's see, mushrooms, yeah, increased by plus one for every 50 times it's produced. That was the thing we actually just unlocked. Um, hmm. Gathering farming plus two mushrooms production. We haven't, I don't think we've actually unlocked a mushroom farm. We do have mushrooms though here. But whether we get an herbalist camp is entirely up to the cards. So I'm not really sure if we should take that or not. 
gain additional two mushrooms every thing. But I feel like the pottery per minute could actually be really good because we needed that in the last playthrough. And if we get it right now, it's something that we can trade for other stuff. So I think we'll get that for now. I'm a tiny bit worried about food right now because we don't actually have any. Uh, it's like, okay, where is it? Help! Okay, I do want to make a trading post first thing, if possible. Oh, this is actually three. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I like three. Put that one there. Actually, I'll move it. Can I move the construction? No. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Oh, we got a road sign. Nice. A simple decoration has no effect. Yeah, by the way, these decorations we have, they kind of can fill in a spot here and there, but they don't actually have any effect. So I don't tend to make them because they're not very useful for us. So what else do we have here? We can build a... We need to build a crude workstation. That's really important. So maybe we build that here. I like to have it a bit separate from the housing. I'll put the housing in the center. Okay, what do we got now? Okay, time to pick orders. What do we want to do? Okay, we need one scavenger's camp and one stonecutter's camp. And that gives us bolts. We also can have um, two woodcutter's camps and 30 wood. Um, plant fiber reeds and eggs. I guess we can do that. That gives us a beaver though. That's actually pretty good. Let's pick this and see. Yeah, yeah we already have all the stuff, so that's perfect. Okay, let's turn it in. Good. Pick another one. What do we got here? A shelter. Three shelters and 20 wood gives us lots of stuff. That's a lot easier. Oh, we get more people if we make all these provisions. I'm just going to do this though. We're going to have our three shelters. Okay, and then we're going to pick another one. Okay, stone cutters plus scavengers gives us more bolts. This one gives us amber as well as the pack of crops production yield. Do we care about that? Hmm. It makes two every craft, I think. So plus one. Yeah, that's actually a good increase on stuff. But we do need five of those to progress. Yeah, let's take that one. We'll take it. It's fine. Okay, good, good. So we're going to build all these three shelters and our people's happiness is going to go up. And uh, life is going to get be better for them, at least slightly. Okay, so we have a broccoli farm here. This is gathered via the foragers camp. Let's find out what we can pick. Let's take... Oh man, last time the herb garden was so nice. But the farm was also nice because of the biscuits and stuff. But we need both actually. Let's take the farm. Let's see, furnace or lumber mill? Do we know? Copper bars and pie. Planks, simple tools, and plower. I think this is more useful. Now we can either pick supplier, fabric, pottery, or trade goods, or furnace. I think furnace. I think we need the furnace, right? Did we get the furnace last time? No. Oh, no. They wouldn't give us the blueprint twice. Okay. Uh, then we have bakery or smokehouse. Wow. That's a hard one. That's a hard one because we can build some of this stuff already. Let's see. Um, this is food. Wait, where did the, where did it go? Pie. I love that you can cook pie in a furnace. You get this like vision of these guys like smelting iron and copper all day. And then it's like, hey, let's just open the little oven and have some pie. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Okay, Lumber Mill can make the flour for the pie. So those two buildings probably can go near each other. We do want to clear out a little bit more of uh, these areas and see. Okay, what do we got here? We have berries and we have eggs. So yeah, not, not a lot that we... This is Herbalist. This is Scavengers and Trappers. Herbalist. And foragers. Jeez, do we have any of these? We have scavengers. Okay. I guess we're going to get these eggs because that's kind of all we need or all we have. So, yeah. Let's go here. I should have taken the other order. Darn it. So, alright. That's going to be made. Good, good. Okay. Here's our stone cutters. Let's take a lizard. Or, well, I guess we should put the lizard in the second slot. There we go. 
Uh, and they're going to grab the clay there. All right, and get a new blueprint. Get the bakery or the sm- Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's figure out the bakery or the smo smokehouse later. I also want to get this up and running so we actually have food going on. So that's an important thing. And also the trading post. God, everything is important. Let's just go with that. <laughs> everything is important. We do have three builders working on stuff, so they should be able to take stuff around and build all the things. Okay, let's also... I want to clear out... Actually, I can... Can... I want to clear this out. I want to clear out a these trees, or at least one of those trees from that corner, so we can connect the road. Eh. There we go. Hopefully they can get that tree. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, these beavers are still working on this tree section. Not sure why they haven't cut down those trees yet. It's been, it's been a while. Uh, let's actually put a beaver here as well. There we go. Have a beaver. Okay, good. Path here, and then we'll move the woodcutter's hut up here. And then I want to... I don't know what we want to do here. Probably remove some of this. Yeah, that's good. Because we do need wood, but I want directed wood. Wood that is going in the right direction. Let's go ahead and delete that tree as well. Okay, things are going. Is everything built yet? Not yet. Almost. Let's see the workstation. We definitely want that to get built, but this has got to go first, I think. Okay. Okay, trading post is done. Hooray. Okay, let's go down here. We're going to go ahead and make a path down here as well. Okay, here we go. What do we have here? Oh, we have farmland. Okay, so large abandoned cash, fertile soil, and flax field. That's very nice. What I think I'm going to do, though, is I want to cut down any trees that are on top of the fertile soil. That's super, super important. Uh, but first, I'm going to place a farm. It's really nice to have a regular source of farm goods. That is so, so, so important. Okay, let's grab this thing. Also, so far that I've seen, it seems like there's always an opportunity to cover all the farming tiles. Sometimes you have to put the farm on different sides of the field, but there's always a way to get them. Okay, there we go. And here, hooray. Yeah, see these far these trees are definitely cover the covering those things. Alright, what do we need to get here? What do you flax fields gives us those things? Large abandoned cache. Lots of tools needed, and we can get 25 amber and a full Queen's Grace. Wow, that's nuts. Or we can get a lot of luxury goods. Mmm, that's that's really tasty, actually. Uh, I don't know what's better. Because luxury goods are going to give us points, happiness points. But I think having the whole point, you know what, we'll take that. But we don't have enough hammers yet. <laughs> No hammers yet. Whoops. Okay, let's get this going. Come on, scavengers camp, go. All right, we opened this one. More eggs uh, and more, more, tr more farming. Okay, let's get this farm going on. I wanna, we wanna move that around. I kind of actually wanna open this up a little bit more. We'll just let them do all the things there real quick. All right, and we need another house. Let's put this one down. And uh, actually, I'll t I'm tempted to put all the shelters here. I probably shouldn't, actually. I probably should put the work buildings here. And the reason for that is that I need to... It's good to have them near the place where they can drop off goods. So I'm going to be moving these houses around, I think. Let's see. Can I move the shelter? Oh, no. I can't move them. That's a surprise. Wow. Okay. Shocker. Okay. It's fine. I'll, I'll deal with it. Sadness? Okay. <laughs> okay, we want to make all of these things. Um, so plant fiber is used to make fabric. Do we actually have any plant fiber? We have some. 
I think we're getting it as a byproduct of something. Okay, we're going to get meat from that. But here we're going to get some uh, plant fiber from there. This is looking very, very good. It's exciting. Wow. Getting farms done. Hooray. Happiness. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and prioritize this farm instead. Well, technically not instead. This is also prioritized, but they'll get round to it. It'll be fine. Okay, and I want to cut this pathway upward. Because that's going to be a good path, actually, I think. Because we're going to have a two building here. Most of the buildings, like the production shops, are two. Two by two. Actually, I could delete this one and move it elsewhere. They didn't deliver any of the goods there yet, so let's prioritize this one. Oh, these are these are also shelters. Okay. Yep. Okay, we don't want to discover Gloids while it's raining. But we can start doing so, I guess. So let's just cut. Can go there and from above. I really wish this was not a circular brush. That is like the worst brush you could possibly pick. Like no help. I. As you see, it is so kind of fiddly too. I don't know. It's just a horrible. I just want to do one tile wide. Why is there this like? It's like a mini game. No, <laughs> I want to get past that. I really do wish that we could have uh, grid-based cutting. I I'm asking for that feature, please. Please give us a paintbrush that's a square. I'd rather have that. Okay, so let's see. This farmer, or this woodcutter's camp, I want to move that up here. Uh, I don't think they'll get through that in the storm, so that's fine. It is very good. Okay, now we can get our turn-in points. So let's deliver that. Get a point for that as well. And then we have two minutes until the next thing unlocks. Do we have the packing building? I forgot what it's called. It is the makeshift post. Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and build that. And then actually, do we need these? We don't need these here. We can move them elsewhere. We can move houses maybe on the periphery somewhere. Maybe they go up here. Yeah, maybe that's a good spot for them. Because I'm kind of like thinking all of the workstations and stuff should be closest to our main storage building because they tend to like uh, send stuff there all the time. Let's see. This one is too big. So we'll put it there kind of wish that you could put a mine. Can you do a minus priority? Yeah, minus one. Okay, that's fine. That's good. So what else do we have? Storage, lumber mill, rain collector. We didn't actually do anything with the spark do last time. So let's go ahead and put our furnace here instead. Let's get this here. There we go. Okay, this is nice and using this area to a really good effect, I think. Now down here is a good place to have houses instead. Now I feel like we can have a path going through here. This will go to our farm. Uh, possibly. Let's put our shelters starting up here. I think that's going to work. So farm is facing to the left. Do we... No, that's actually our woodcutter. This farm is here. We really need this done. But we can get uh, some, some houses done as well. Okay, so... Alright, this one is done. Hooray. Oh, oh. This one... Arr, this, may, this may actually break through during the storm. Okay, let's add somebody here. Let's add a lizard over there. We have three employees left. Um, so now we have to choose. Do we want the smokehouse or the bakery? Hmm. I think we choose maybe the smokehouse because of the variety we get. Supplier gives us things. 
Eh, bakery. Yep, we're good. We are now happy. Happiness is ours. So let's do a small, let's do this one here. And what else do we want to do? I think we're kind of good. Still need to build our farm. Scavengers, camp, oh no, 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 we don't need anything. Okay, we're actually good. We are good. Okay, so paved road requires stone. Process stone or clay, All right. So if we have too much clay, we can always go there and spend it on paved roads. All right. Okay. We had a ding that I heard for the trader. Let's see what trader has. We have stone. We have many things we can't afford. <laughs> the herbalist thing. We have, ooh, fuel burns. 25% longer in hearths. This is another one of those confusing tips that it's like, minus 25% longer? Like, that's less long. But I think it means it does burn longer, which should just have no minus or plus, just 25% longer. So it's basically thing plus 25%, but you can't do longer or, yeah, anyway. I don't know. It's weird. So let's see. Furnishings. Oh god, I want that. Eh. Can I trade anything? We were supposed to get those pottery, weren't we? Maybe she doesn't buy pottery. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, her. Can we trade amber? I want 10 amber. Mm. Let's see. 10... That's a lot of stuff. Can I trade some wood? Oh, wow, it doesn't even cover it. Beetles? Oh, likes beetles. Okay. Hey, all right, we can do this. 76, 75, 73? 73 is not enough. 75. Okay, 76 it is. Not a penny higher, not a beetle higher, not a leg higher. <laughs> okay, so we need 10 amber for this. I want to get this. This is so good. Uh, trade this and then buy this. Yep, ours. Boom. Okay, and we will not be eating beetles for the rest of the day, alas. Sad times. <laughs> Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, slick shell brood mother. We get leather and we get uh, meat from these. They are very interesting looking things. They're like snails with tentacles with spikes on them. That's a bit scary, but it's okay. We haven't died yet. So that is the best thing that we can report right now. Okay, let's go ahead and just clear this area and go there. Newcomers are waiting. Ah, oh, yes, I'm glad they have those notifications. I want notifications for the trader. That is what I really want. Um, let's look at, do we have more of these yet? No, not yet. 13 seconds. Let's wait for 13 seconds because we might get one that demands certain types of villagers. Uh, and that would be nice to work on. Okay, uh, nobody at the farm yet. Let's put this up to two. We need... Okay, there's nobody else working here. Let's add another... Uh, yeah, we'll add another beaver because beavers are good at planks and stuff. Okay, let's pick stuff. Happy brewing. We need a brewery and ale, which we don't have either of. And it gives us a tavern if we get a brewery. Or mush soup. Produce in a brewery, brick oven, druid's hut, granary, or cookhouse. Do we have any of those? We might. We might have some of those. Cookhouse. We have a bakery? No, that doesn't count. Industry. Let's look again. Mush soup. No, we have everything but that. <laughs> so this is one of those where it's like, huh, we don't have a brewery yet. Uh, but this one has a lot more possibility. But this one has better perks. You know what? I'm going to go with this. One. Happy brewing. We'll pick that one. Okay, next one. So now we need 25 pack of crops and it gives us much stuff. Wow. 25% amount of goods produced in the plantation, herb garden, and small farm. We have farms, so that's good. 
Here we get random stuff. Let's see. Lizards clan support. Resolve modifier. After this great civil war, three species are locked in a constant struggle to gain the queen's favor. The lizard elders remember your help. So plus three to lizard resolve. That's kind of interesting. I think this is easier though. Maybe. Let's pick that. Okay. So we really need... We need stuff. We need all the stuff. All the things. Did we... Alright, we need to get... Ah, that's right, we can... Oh, they're, they're chopping in there anyway. We want to go ahead and make a larger farm area here. Okay, right there. And get that farmhouse going. We really need that to happen. Jeez. So what's going here? We have roots and mushrooms. I think we move the woodcutter out to here. Because I want to go that way instead. Okay, so let's chop down this way. Eh. Eh. Okay, does that work? Mostly? Sure. I think it works. Okay, that's where we're chopping and it should be okay. But at the moment, I think that we need to end this episode before it gets wild and crazily long like the last one. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Again, if you are interested in getting the game, I would be grateful if you use my creator code. Um, it's Catherine of Sky, or you can use the link in the description below. There is still that 10% sale going on. So anyway, if I, I don't know if this gameplay appeals to you, just say so. And, uh, and uh, yeah check it out and let me know what you think of this game really curious um as to what you think i don't think i've built it or played a game quite like this where it's like you have to build a whole city and that is the roguelike um but it is kind of fun and i'm really curious to see where this goes in the future so anyway thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time